What is going on people of YouTube? My name is Kotyo, welcome to another video, and actually, welcome to another Brutally Honest. And, if I am to be brutally honest, Giroud is one of the best strikers we have in the Barclays Premier League. <laughs> whoa, 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 don't dislike the video yet, let me explain first. So, my statement, obviously, Giroud is one of the best strikers we've got in the Premier League. That's not saying the world, that's saying the Premier League. And if you look at it, he's a goal scorer. Now, Arsenal fans will constantly look at the fact that Giroud misses loads of chances. He's clumbersome on the ball a lot of the time, can't play in players. But, he still scores goals. And if you're looking for a goal scorer, Giroud's one of the best, at least, in the Premier League. Topped, maybe or definitely by Aguero and a few others you could say on their day, depending on how well they perform on their day. But for me, Giroud is one of the best for simple reason. He, when he needs to, he can bet with a bit of pace, a bit, not a lot. He's great at holding the ball, getting it down from in the air. He's great at getting into scoring positions, and he's also pretty decent at scoring them. If he scored more of his... um. More of his chances, because Arsenal fans say he gets it every time he plays, you know, two or three chances a game, he'll squander. But, on the back of him scoring a hat-trick to keep Arsenal in the Champions League, and again, Arsenal fans say one of them was a penalty, he still scores goals. He's always in the right position at the right time. He's a striker that you want playing around the team that Arsenal have. Now, if you look at this season, you know, the fact that Giroud has been in and out of the team, you know, he's been generally first team, but he's had, I don't think he's played, you know, 100% or 100% of the games uh, for much of this season. However, he's their top goal scorer. If you look at the league, he's grabbed himself eight goals. The second best is Alexis Sanchez on six, and if you, if you take into the fact he scored all of them six goals in three different games, um, you basically got Sanchez who scored in three different games, and then you've got down to players like Ertzil and other players like that who have two goals to their names. Now another trait of Giroud's that I like is that he does not do everything in one or two games. There have been strikers in the past that have been known to maybe grab 20 goals a season, but grab a two, you know, a lot of two games, a few hat-tricks in the season, and not really score one goals. Giroud is a long-lasting impact player. Now that is confusing in itself. But Olivier Giroud does best. He's picking up the one goal here and there. Now, yeah, with with Arsenal being with Arsenal fans being Arsenal fans, if it's not SSN HQ Sanchez, then it doesn't matter. But of course, they'll criticise the fact he only scores one goal in the game. But if he scored two goals, people would criticise him for that. But for me, I'd much prefer to have a striker that scored just one goal every game, just for the fact he's having a constant impact in every single game, as well as the fact he'll play in other players. He might not have the, uh, the assists that Ozil gets, but he's a target man. You kick the ball up to him, you're going to find him. He's going to nod it down, he's going to control the ball well, he's going to outmuscle a lot of defenders, and that is something that is a dying art in modern football. Now, of course, you're going to have people that are saying, obviously, at the moment, Jamie Vardy. Yes, but for me, I think that is a form thing. That is not class. If you're going on class, Giroud is much better. However, in form-wise, Vardy is undoubtedly beating every single player in the Premier League itself. I'm looking down the list. Next up with 11 goals, you've got Lukaku, who is magnificent. But, many people know, he has on and off days. Currently, he's having a lot of on days, and he's in fine form. Snap up in your fantasy Premier League teams, if you haven't already got him. You've also got Ig Hallo up there. Again, is a form thing. Will he drop off? Who knows? But at the moment, class-wise, I'm putting Giroud up there ahead of him. You've got Aguero, who hasn't really done much this season, injured again, but we're looking to get in there. Maybe you can out of storage. But the fact that he will now surpass um, the games he's missed with injury compared to the games he's featured in is surely something to take note of. If you'd rather have any of them, Giroud may be taking the risk of not scoring as many, but... Suarez, is, uh, Suarez, but Sturridge is going to play, if you're going to have 30 games a season, he's going to get in 15 of them, <laughs> maybe even less than that. But I'm looking at the list, Kane, again, is he a one and a half season wonder, but he's done well so far, and I think Kane is a quality striker, not on the same level as Olivier Giroud, you've got Aguero, you've got Pella, you've got Dini, you've got Callum Wilson, who's still up there, you've got Kone, you've got Gomez, Benteke, all those players are good on their day, Giroud will constantly be good. And he's grabbed, in eight different games this season, he's scored eight goals. He's to up there with the top goal scorers. I think he's fourth or fifth. And for me, I'm looking at it at the fact that I'm a big fan of like the old school like Alan Shearer type striker. 
the ones that will scare defenders, not only for their trickery, for their ball, like, like ball play and their finishing, their quick movement, but the fact they can bully the defenders as well. If you've got that, that will scare the defenders more because they know we go up in the air, we might lose this guy, we'll probably lose to this guy. And that for me is why Giroud is one of the best finishers and one of the best strikers we've got in the Premier League. If you disagree with me, then let me know what you think in the comments down below. Who do you think the best striker is and how wrong do you think I am? Again, this is about being brutally honest. It's not about saying, you know, ifs and buts. This is me giving my brutal opinion and saying, here it is. I'm chucking it out there. Let's see what you guys think. But thank you guys for watching nonetheless. If you liked this video, then leave a like. Let me think in the comments down below. And subscribe if you want to get up to date with all my series, including Brutally Honest. Next episode, we'll have a different thing to talk about. Whatever spoil will be, you know, you'll have to just wait and see. I don't even know yet. It depends what happens in the future. But thank you guys for watching. And peace.